Once more into the breach, dear friends. Here we are. It's Chris from Baby Beard Media. Did you know that you can follow um, all of us on social media by going into the description below in this episode? Um, Ellen's Instagram and Sean, Phil, and my Twitter accounts are all down there. Um, you can follow Arsaw. Hey, it's the woman that we saved. She's standing up at the bathroom. She's really happy. Dave is Miami Pest Control. Um, he's got some vermin problems. Great, let's let's kill these vermin um, before they spread. Uh, yeah, you can follow us uh, on different social medias. And uh, you can follow us personally or you can follow us... Um, or you can follow us individually. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I am still going to do Richard, even though, you know, probably shouldn't. Um, because it loses me all the delicious bonuses that I, um, have earned. Oh, dog. Um... Because there is a mask that makes you, you know, immune to dogs and all sorts of different masks that are different advantages and different, different... Sh oh, God. I only have a knife. I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill... Oh, there's a gun right there. You get the dog, though. That's all right. They just... The dogs in this game are just like... They move so fucking fast. It's ridiculous. Um, and they will just wreck your shit. Um... Let's try and get that dog in there with that guy. Mm. All right. Best way to go for this is... Oop. Nope. Nope. Mistake. Mistake all around. Um, nice shotgun. I love a good shotgun. As opposed to a bad shotgun. Yeah, you can follow us. You can message us. Um... Tell us that you never want to see Chris play this game ever again because he's real bad at it. Uh, or you can be like, wow, Chris being bad at a game um, is very... Oh, so I got an E. Uh, there are little uh, coupons all around, like, in the levels um, for a, I guess, like a word puzzle um, at the end of the game. If you collect them all, you get a secret ending, um, basically. Um, it's... Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um... And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, you know, fun. Shit. Oh, man, I nearly had that. Um, yeah, so there's, there's, you know, reason to replay, other than trying to get, like, a big high score. So creating bottlenecks like that is a way to play through this. Um, you can absolutely do that. Oh, come on, Chris. There we go. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a valid way to play. Um, we will see if I can get through this level. I think I can. It doesn't seem as hard as the previous level. Um, oh, he says getting killed for the umpteenth time. Hey, if someone wants to count how many times I've died and then, like, laugh at me about it, that would be great. Um, really, really humble me. Big kill counter would be great. Um, and be like, haha, this guy can't even get past level, whatever this level is, um, in, you know, without dying this many times. What a, what is it? Cuck is the internet, you suck at everything. Which, uh, as someone who knows a cuck, um, it's very funny. Um, not, not him. I'm not laughing at him. Uh, it's just very funny that that is the uh, the word that that people have gone to, or the expression that people have gone to, as. Oh, come on, um, as the as the insult phrase. Personally, I don't think I would want to be cucked. Um, 
I don't know though. Maybe, maybe secretly deep down there is a cuck lurking inside all of us. Um, the cuck is coming from inside the house, as it were. Um, well, the, oh come on. Um, the cucks are the people we are the friends we made along the way. Oh no, I'm getting a phone call. How awful. Would you like to know who that is? Who's calling me right now? It's my mum. She wants to talk to me and she's like, hey, let me phone you. And I'm like, yeah, I'm busy though, mum. Um, I'm being a YouTuber. Yeah, I know, and she, uh, she... She tolerated me when I wanted to be a, an actor or a director even. Can you imagine? Moving from theatre director to YouTuber. What a career shift. <laughs> um, she's very proud. Very proud. Um, well, it's interesting because I'm doing some work for her. doing uh, Getting some voice actors. So that's what she's calling me about. It's about voice acting. Um, so, yeah. You know, all these microphones and this this setup, it all all can be translated into um, you know, industry work rather than just like sort of, it's not really hobbying. We are doing this you know, with a Patreon which you can support us at and I meant to mention this. If you want to give us um, more like clear instruction as to what we should be doing um, or like you want to give us suggestions for video games if you're a Patreon member I uh, I listen to you a lot more not to say that I don't listen to other people but I do listen to our Patreon members because um, they've you know they've made a financial commitment to liking our content um, and that's a very nice thing for them to do they don't have to do that they've chosen to do that so I uh, yeah I'm like thank you friends Thank you, and uh, your suggestions will be noted. Oh, he was sitting on the toilet. I didn't even see him. Oh, man. No. Oh. Oops. All right, that might draw some people in. That was not bad, combo. We got one more guy in there. Let's uh, take him out. Take his shotgun. And guy in there. Got him. That's the gun I just threw away. 20 shots in this boy. Guy there. So let's take him out. Oop. Hey, open. And there we go. How's that? Not too shabby, if I don't say so myself. Let's uh, let's adventure on out. Get to the car and go. Let's see what grade we got. Again, probably very bad. A B minus, yeah, very bad. Not a great score at all. Good evening, how are you doing? You look a bit distracted, something you're worried about. Mm, it's harsh times. Mmm. Oh man, everyone's lost their taste for pizza. Can you imagine losing your taste for pizza? It's a favorite food. All right, let's grab this pizza. Delicious, delicious. I haven't watched Scarface. I feel like I should. I feel like the tone of this game is very Scarface. Um, and yeah, the woman we saved, she's moved from sleeping on the couch over there to washing her face in the mirror, and now she's having a bath. And being the good man that you are, you cannot go into the bathroom with her. I mean, you know, if you wanted to, and she invited you in, that would be cool, but it doesn't ask you to, so yeah. Ton from the Blue. Hotel Blue. Oh, nice. Stomach problems. VIPs. We'll give them a great stay. That be the priority for everyone. And so the world does change, you know, you collect pizza blocks. Oh! 
Oh, hello. It's a cleaner. Mm, I don't trust him. He might be there to hurt the lady in the rooms upstairs. A clean hit. And yeah, tip, pay attention to details. Yes, absolutely. If you'd like. Um, you do not have to do that. But like little, little narrative decisions like storing all the guns here means that, you know, while some people might be innocent, some might not be. Hmm. Oop. But also, you can do stuff like this. Take the AR. And then go along the... Oh, no, you can't. Never mind. I was going to say go along the edge there and uh, shoot them all up. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely... This one's a, uh, a definite... I don't think you can sneak your way through this one. Uh, a definite firefight. Good, good, good. Oh, no, I do want that gun. Uh, I want this gun. Nope, that was the gun I just threw away. Let's take the Mac. No, I'm going to take the AR. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, no. There's a bunch of guns over here. Let's just get one of those. And head on. Is there not someone not dead? Did I not kill the guy on the John? No, I did. Is that it? What am I missing here? Elevator? Elevator? Hmm. What's going on? Did I miss a thing? Did I miss a trick? Or did the game just kind of freak out on me? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I don't think I missed anything. Alright. Oh, Whoops. Pay attention to details, the game says. That is something Chris does not do. Um. Hey, it's the cleaner guy from before. Remember him? Yeah. You can, I think, do it without alerting him. So let's just do that. Let's just go the fuck in and kill everyone without alerting the cleaner. Nice, I got both of them. Very good. Alright. wonder if I can kill him as well. No, I can't. That's a shame. Anyone out here on the balcony? No, it's just the big boss. And dead. All right. A lot of murder tonight. A lot of fun. Fun to be had, murder to be had. Joy, joy, joy. Well, that was an easy one. Some of them are easier, some of them are trickier. Let's see if this score is good. Is it good? It's alright. It's an A. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's get ourselves a, a movie, a VHS. I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly ask a question to the person who's in the recording room with me. Um I'm going to ask them a question because they're a, they're a young Zoomer. A young, young Zoomy. Uh, have you ever watched anything on VHS? Ah, really? There we go. VHS isn't that old, everyone. There you go. If you, if you know, if you're over the age of 25 and you're like, oh, I wonder if those young kids are up with the memes or I don't know I don't know what what I'm talking about honestly now um, Harry is here from management here's a problem there's a big mess over the condos we got a the president's with well, it's wet all over it's flooded soon 
Yeah, we gotta go. Don't go don't go easy on the mop. Yeah, we gotta do some wet work. Um Yeah. I don't know about VHSs. I don't know when people started not watching them. I mean, we got a DVD player in 2002, I think it was, 2001, specifically for The Matrix, um, because that's one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, it's a very good movie, and um, I wanted to watch it on DVD, because uh, it was, you know, pretty graphically intense, um, pretty visually stunning, uh, still is, I would argue. And um, so my, I managed to convince my family into investing in something that we knew was, you know, going to be a, a step in the direction of like the entertainment future, which is DVDs. Um, and um, and uh, we got The Matrix. But the problem was, was that my TV, um, or my family's TV rather, um, did not was quite an old TV. Um, in fact, you you to change channels, you physically had to get up off the couch and change channels. Um, it was that old that you know the remote didn't really work. Um, it only worked for the VCR. There were, actually no, there was no TV remote. There was just a VCR remote, and that allowed you to change channels, but you couldn't change the TV. Um, and uh, and even in like 2001, that was pretty old. Um, and so when we plugged the DVD player in, um, it's, uh, oh, no, that was a mistake. Um, it flickered because it couldn't pick out whether to pick, uh, you know, audio or visual. You used to have the, um, AV cables where you'd have like, um, uh, what did you have? Like the yellow, red, and white um, things. Now everything is HDMI. Um, but before then, you had AV cables. And my TV was too old to have that. Um, so it couldn't have those. And so what happened was you would... Where am I going? Is that it? No, nah, it's not a level. There we are. Um, my TV would flicker. It would change kind of like an alternating like white and yellow... Not white. White and standard kind of colour. It would oscillate between the two, giving everyone who watched it a massive headache um, as they, you know, um, tried desperately to um, not be sick. But I would still watch The Matrix under those conditions uh, because, yeah, it was it's a great movie. Um, is it amazing now still? Yes. That's the answer to that hypothetical question. Is The Matrix still amazing? And the answer is yes. It's a, a great film. Um, should be studied, in my opinion, by, by lots of different people. Uh -oh. oh, man. Um, but I remember everyone loved The Matrix, whether you were, like, a new film kind of dude or, like... Um, or if you were like, when I was in um, like the kind of like radical, I was a pretty like youth churchy kind of dude. And the church fucking loved The Matrix because they could just ignore the parts that didn't like align with their world point of view. But there's lots of um, suggestions about the Bible, you know, John 3.16 uh, and, and that sort of stuff uh, in it. And... Uh, So, so everyone like loved The Matrix. Uh, I can't overstate how like important The Matrix was as a film. I think um, it was very, very significant uh, and launched some really cool careers for some some great great artists. Um, some artists who are trans, which is cool as well. And you know, viewed in that lens, the movie makes a lot of sense as well. Um, you know, people giving up their old names and taking on new names and, or like their dead names or their all of that sort of stuff I'm not a trans scholar I'm a cis uh, guy so uh, I won't talk any more about that because um, this is not film criticism with Chris Bond this is Let's Plays with Chris um, but no it's a great movie uh, and I, I really enjoyed it um, particularly as a kid um, 
think it's the movie I've probably watched the most. I don't know if there are many movies like that that you have, but if you're, what's, uh, you know, in the comments, write what you're, I'd be interested to know, actually, what our audience who have got this far into the Let's Play, what, um, what their, uh, their movies of choice are. Um, what movies they've probably watched the most and, and, you know, all of that jazz. Um, and if it is Chicago, then, um, that means that my all of that jazz joke works doubly so, which is great. Thanks for making my humour even better. And let's just kill that guy. Boom, done. Love it. Easy level. Easy, easy, easy. Oh no, we're not done yet. Great. Oh god, every shot I miss. That's a bit better. All right, so some of these levels don't just end. They they like you think they're about to end and then they're like, "Oh, it's a setup." Oh, okay. Great. Okay. Well, this will be this will be the last one that we that we do. I think this is the biker. Um, and the biker is a boss. Um, and I don't mean that as like he's a boss. I mean, it's like a old-fashioned uh, video game boss. Um, so we've got to we got to deal with him. And we might call it an uh, end after we've done that. So here's his streak of carnage, not dissimilar to mine. Uh, and we're going to find him. And there he is. There's the biker. And, uh, yeah, he just takes a bit of kiting. Um, yeah, he just threatens us straight up. And he just goes at us. Uh, this, I wish, I do wish they'd kind of like... Yep, so he'll just... Get how you have to do this. I can't remember if you have to throw them at him or he throws them. There you go. And then you grab the... Oops. So he'll throw it and then he'll like take a second. Oh, come on. Um, he'll throw it and you have to... While he's got it in the wall trying to wedge it out, he will... Um, oh... And he'll get back up. And then you rinse and repeat, I think, three times the, you know, the Nintendo magic number. Um, oh, no, it's just two. Oh, let's... There we are. All right, everyone. Killed the biker. Only took, like, three or four shots. That's pretty good. It took me ages to figure out how to beat that guy on the first time through. Um, so very happy about that. And that will be the end of our playthrough. Well, unless you want more, in which case comment below. Uh, if you want less of Chris solo stuff and more of Ellen, Sean or Phil, uh, comment and just say. Be like, we like Chris, or we like Phil, or we like Sean. Um, and we want them in these combinations. Um, let us know. But until the next episode, uh, catch you all later. Bye.